Hey Kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today I'm going to do a review of this brass pry bar. This is a pry bar from the company called Brassworks. B-R-A-S-S-W-E-R-X. This is their BW pry bar. Uh, you can check out that account or the main account which is 875SPF. Uh, sorry, 875FPS. Like frames per second, 875 FPS and a couple things I gotta say before I get into the review is that I didn't buy this pry bar This pry bar was uh, won in a giveaway and the giveaway was from uh, the EDC nurse Let me show you guys that guy Yep, the EDC nurse and I want a few things from him in that one giveaway This is one of them. This is also one of them But today I'm gonna do a review of this brass pry bar right here so First things first, why is a pry bar? A pry bar is something that you can use to pry something open. Of course, that is in the name. Uh, you can also use it for some like light scraping. A lot of pry bars do come with this little bottle cap opener right here. Here is another pry bar. This is the Night Eyes pry bar. Uh, the pocket tool pry bar it also has a bottle opener. It can also be used to pry and it has a, uh, a, a scraping surface as well. So just to show you guys the difference between what a brass pry bar like this that's custom made versus uh, this guy right here. I don't know if this is custom or in production but it's made in small quantities versus something that's more mass produced. I'm going to show you guys using uh, these two separate tools right here but let's first get into this. What does it come with? Well it comes, uh, well it's just a pry bar, it comes with a, a matching lanyard which I really like. Especially with the pry bar because there's not much else for you to hold on to. There's not a lot of knurling or grip or whatever. So having this little bit of the rope really helps helps uh, make it a little bit more comfortable to hold. You can either squeeze it in like this, add a little bit of extra grip and a little bit of cushioning. Or you can use it to maybe extend your, the grip of your hand a little bit. Especially if you have much bigger hands like that. So you have here the main pry tool. And as you can see here, this is pretty thick. Uh, let me do a quick measurement right here. The thickness here is uh, like a quarter of an inch. You have the thickness in this dimension at right under half an inch. And then you have a total length of uh, 3.89 inch, sorry, 3.9 inches. Compared to this guy, this guy is just very thin compared to this guy. If you can just look at the, it kind of can hide in the in, in the entirety of this pry bar right here. And that really helps because one thing about pry bar is that it has this little angle right here. And that is for you to get a little bit of uh, leverage. You can pry, press this some, uh, into something and then you can use this uh, to, to create a bit of leverage and then pry it open like that. This, you have that feature as well but because it's a lot thinner, you don't have as much leverage compared to this guy which gives you a lot more room down here. So that's very nice. Uh, it has a nice little uh, bottle cap opener right here. Uh, it's definitely more effective than this guy right here. This guy's a little bit more rounded off, but this guy is quite a bit sharper on the inside right there. The stamping is nice. Uh, one good thing about bronze is that it is not a super hard steel, so you can do any kind of stamping or whatever. Another good thing about bronze is that, uh, 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 or brass, sorry, another good thing about brass is that uh, eventually it'll patina over time. Like this guy, it won't change its, how it looks over time very much, but this guy over some time it will change its appearance and it'll look unique to you, for example. Like right now, you can see that the middle parts here are a bit darker. And then the corner parts here have kind of worn down a little bit. So actually that creates a nice little halo effect which I really really like. Okay, so a couple of things, uh, so, so that's kind of good about it. It's, it's nice, and, nice and thick, it's very good. Uh, these lanyards gives it a very good grip and very good cushioning in the hand if you hold it like this. That thickness means that you can definitely have a little bit more leverage when you want to pry it. It has a good bottle opener, the brass uh, eventually patinas and then wears down in a way that is very pretty. Now a couple of bad things, <clears throat> first of which is that I've, I was just praising the brass just now but Brass, unfortunately, is not a very strong uh, metal, so it can conform whatever. Here, let me just show you. I have here a pen, uh, which is coated with black, and then just by rubbing it a little bit, you can see that the brass has uh, left some traces on the pen right there. You can see those two lines? That's from me uh, just, just grazing this over the pen. Luckily, I can just like wipe it off and it's gone. Good as new and then that's how it kind of got this the shiny edges on the side there It's kind of it from like it banging my phone or scraping against my pen Because I used to carry it in a pocket organizer like this guy This is an Arc Company Rambler and I used to have the pen in here and I used to put this guy in here But then I started realizing that it started like rubbing off on the pen a little bit so that is uh, that is unfortunate, uh, especially if you drop it or whatever, it can ding up quite easily if you drop it on concrete. As you can see, there are a few scratches here already. 
Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but there are a few scratches here already uh, from it. it you know, just some, some very short falls or whatever onto concrete or whatever. It can definitely cause a bunch of scratches and definitely cause a bunch of a uh, bunch of dings in it. Another thing that I don't like about it is that although this is a uh, uh, good in terms of leverage, you can definitely sharpen this up a little bit more. Sometimes with something that is very thin, like sometimes uh, your, your socket is stuck in the wall, this is not thin enough to go inside of it. Great for opening up paint cans, but not great for opening up something that's really binded very closely together. For that, uh, the Night Eyes does it really well, where you have a main uh, edge right here that's not very thin, but then you have a corner here that is like sharpened up a little bit. So it gives it a little fine edge in the corner. So if you have this guy, I would just like, file this down or sharpen one of the corners here to, or maybe this corner here to get it really like sharp so you can use it as a box opener as a box cutter or you can use it to get into like really tight uh, nooks and crannies to split something open so yeah that's pretty much it very short review because there's nothing much to talk about it's just a brass pry bar couple of things i would have done to improve it as already mentioned i would have uh, uh, I would have sharpened up one of the corners here to have a little bit of a slicing tool, uh, like a box cutter to so that you can also break break apart things that I have binded together. Another thing I would do is that uh, to maybe increase the grip a little bit. Now this uh, with the lanyard gives it a very nice grip, uh, but maybe to increase the comfort and to increase the grip a little bit, maybe add a little bit of, uh, not knurling per se, but a little bit of texturing on the side here. I'm not saying put full on jimping. I'm not saying, you know, put... I'm not saying like put knife jimping or whatever on it. I'm just saying like maybe you can go at it with a Dremel. Just add some notches here and here, here and here. That will do a few things. Number one, it'll kind of round out the corners a little bit. So that's a little bit more comfortable. But two, it just stops it from uh, from uh, having a tendency to slide a little bit. Okay guys, that's the end of the review. Do check out the uh, description box down below. You can check out my Patreon account. And I also have some affiliate links to some channels that have supported me. Uh, of course, do follow uh, the EDC nurse. Let me show you guys his logo again, the EDC nurse, uh, because I got this stuff from him. And, uh, and as always guys, <coughs> sorry, oh. and as always guys, stay ready.